M, Application Data, Gary Technologies, and then there's a, there's a folder here called Data Sheets. So right now, this is where all the data sheets that I generate, um, very store schedules and, and other data sheets, um, you'll see even the two Excel data sheet uh, 297 that we were just looking at is located down here. So how exactly is that determined? Well, if I, if I go to a file um, called the cat env file, that's located under my documents and settings, all users, and again, I'll, I'll, put, these, I'll, I'll put these pathways up um, online so you, so you guys, if you get a little lost, you can follow the recording or you can, you can I'll put up the pathways. Documents and settings, all users, application data, Gary Technologies, and then there's a cat env file. This is basically kind of all the preset um, aspects of digital project. So if I open up the digital project v1r4 text file, I get a listing of different variables. And at first this may seem a little confusing, a little scary, but don't worry, it's, it's actually a lot simpler once you start looking at it. Um, so if I look at the bottom here, one of the first things that I see is that the, um, there's a variable here called GTC Excel data sheet file path. So right away, okay, Excel data sheet file path. That's, that's pretty straightforward. And it's got what it looks like it's taking is a variable which, which goes to that, um, that uh, documents and settings and my user, uh, Gary Technologies data sheet. If I wanted to, um, I could change that path. I could make that a path to a server. Um, on my server, I could make that a local path. Um, and it's very easy to do, actually. Um, the way that I'd recommend changing these paths is by copy the line that you're going to change. So I'm going I'm to take that and copy that, go down a line, paste the same, the same thing I, I have up there. And I'm going to add a little exclamation point and that's going to tell it to ignore that line. So that little exclamation point is going to say, don't, don't, pay, don't pay attention to this line. This is important because, you know, if, if, if down the line you want to return your cat env file to its original settings, um, it's good to kind of keep the, uh, the original text that was there. So now um, I can take the, the Excel datasheet pathway that I that have here, and I could say open up my my project manager folder right here and copy paste this pathway into my cat env file. So now the next time when I'm when I'm working with this file, I save that, I shut down digital project, I start it up again. And so the next time that um, that I create an Excel datasheet file, it's going to save it in the pathway that I tell it. Now the other thing I wanted to point out was that there's a Microsoft Project Pathway. And this is important because this is, this is the pathway that we need to be in order to run a, a Microsoft Project file in Digital Project. So um, you'll see that it's under our Standards Path Startup Microsoft Project. So that's saved right under here. So it's under my, my C drive, program files, Gary Technologies, Digital Project V1R4, Project Standards, Startup, Microsoft Project. So you can see that um, I have a few files in here. One of them is my project. So I've already copied this, this file in here. What I want you to do is go back to your project folder, your project manager folder, and inside of that, um, you should find a, a myproject.mmp. And so I want you to, to take that, go down to copy, and go over to your, again, your pro, Program Files, Gary Technologies, Digital Project V104, Project 
standard startup Microsoft project and paste that in. So that's important that you copy that, your, your file to that location before we, we start the connection with the file. So let me go back to my digital project file. Now that you've copied your, your Microsoft project file in the right location, um, we need to you call up the tool set for Microsoft Project. So if I right click in, in an empty area in my, my toolbars, right near the middle of the list there should be a Microsoft Project tool set. Now if I open that up it should, full tool set should pop up. I can put that in the, the toolbar up there. Now the first button here is Get Microsoft Project. So I want to click that, that first button on the left, and I want to click the the uh, the little button here to to locate the file. And the uh, and so it automatically goes to my my Microsoft Project startup project standards. And again, all this was determined. This location was determined by the the cat env file. So I want to double click my my project and click OK. And so right away you can see that there's a Microsoft project object in my tree. Uh, now the next thing we want to do is sync this, uh, this object in my tree to the, to the actual Microsoft project file. So I right click my project after expanding Microsoft projects here and go down to activate, deactivate group. And you'll see that it has that underline. We've seen that before when we, when we dealt with um, at looking at um, geometric sets and, and part bodies. Um, this is how we knew that something is active by the fact that it's underlined. So now that I have that activated, what I want to do is go up to the uh, middle button here, and you'll see it says uh, Sync Microsoft Project Activities. So if I click that, it's going to go through, it's going to open up that Microsoft Project file. It's going to take the tasks that are, um, that are found in that file, and it's going to populate them inside the, the model. So here it's automatically opened up my, my, my project file. And if I go back to my digital project file, I see that I can now expand my project. And I have all these activities listed. So starting with podium level concrete pour, level 2, all the way up to level 18. And then I have other activities um, associated with the interior partitions, curtain wall, and you can see these these reflect are reflected in the Microsoft Project file. So these are all coordinated with with the model, but that that's just the beginning. So now we have these activities um, populated in our model. The the real tasks now is to take the, the model elements in this model and associate them with the tasks um, that we've populated from the Microsoft Project file. So this, this step, um, this is kind of the, the step that requires um, some work. And um, the, there's, different, there's different strategies you can find to, uh, to make this go a little faster. Um, I found a few that, that helped me. Um, I want to share them so that they, they help uh, to help you kind of populate your, your, your model a little quicker. So first thing, we want to look at this, this first item, podium level concrete pour. If we double click it, the first thing we notice is that it says edit group. So we recognize this probably from last week um, that when we were like when we when we were creating groups 